This is Richard Wolff from Democracy at Work responding to another Ask Prof. Wolf question from our Patreon community. This question comes from Nicholas Cuevas, and I want to answer his question, which basically asks me to explain the meanings of terms like historical materialism, dialectical materialism, dialectics, and so on. These terms have a long history in philosophy generally, and particularly in Marxian or Marxist-inspired philosophical debates. They aren't quite so frequent these days, but like everything else in the way of socialism and Marxism and so on, it's experiencing uh, a renaissance, a reinterest, a rebirth, a renewal, and I think basically that that is a good thing since there are enormous insights to be recovered from and made use of, uh, developed out of that tradition. Okay, well, let's begin with dialectical materialism. And to get at that, we begin with the materialism part. In this view, the history of human thought, of philosophy, of thinking about what life is, what the world is, there are two broad strains of thought, one the reverse of the other. The way this approach goes, there are two realms, two kinds of reality in the world. One is the hard material reality, the things you can touch and see and hear and smell, the earth, the air, the food we eat, the people we encounter. These are the material reality. And then there's another kind of reality, what's in our minds, ideas, concepts, thoughts, spiritual meanings, things like that. And the debate, this perspective says, has always been which determines the other. In other words, do the thoughts we have come out of the material reality we are born into, live through, and die from? So that the material shapes the ideal. That's the name for the other realm of our reality. That's called materialism if you believe that somehow the hard reality is first and foremost and determines the realm of ideas. The reverse is idealism, and it holds that no, in the beginning, notice the language, in the beginning there was the word, the way the Bible opens. In the beginning is something spiritual, something ideal, maybe a deity, a non-material, godlike something. This idea then says that idealism comes first. The idea precedes the reality, shapes, causes the reality, not the other way around. And this either or has been understood by many as the great philosophical debate that has uh, dogged the human race, inspired the human race for centuries. Okay, so materialism, that tradition, goes back at least as far as the ancient Greeks and no doubt further. That is understood by most Marxists in most of the tradition, as well as non-Marxist in many other traditions. Materialism is the notion that the hard reality of our physical selves, the physical world around us, our interactions to survive and grow in that environment, that material reality is primary and is what shapes whatever ideas, concepts, thoughts, and spirits we think are there. What is dialectics then? Well, dialectics began in its modern formulation with ideas that are old, but that were brought together in the most powerful way imaginable by the German philosopher Hegel. 
a teacher of Marx's. And Hegel's notion was, yeah, idealism comes first. He was a good Christian in that way. But he saw a very complicated relationship between the ideal and the material. And it wasn't simply one determined the other, but a kind of back and forth between them. Marx developed this idea much further, insisted that he was a materialist, Marx, and most Marxists have agreed, but that he wasn't about to say that the material determines the ideal end of story. No, no, no. That Marx criticized as mechanical materialism. He distinguished his own view as dialectical materialism, and here's roughly what he meant. The material is in some way primary. It shapes our ideas, our spiritual notions, our religions, our cultural institutions, and so on. The material shapes the ideal, but here comes the big idea. It goes in reverse too. The relationship between dial, excuse me, between materialism and idealism is dialectical. And by the way, the word dialectical comes from dialogue. When you have a dialogue, two different people are talking to each other. Each one is speaking and listening, articulating and learning. This notion of the back and forth interplay is what Marx wanted to add to materialism. A respect for the idea in the world shaped by the material, but having a reverse impact. So yes, the material world shapes the ideal aspects of the world, but so does it in reverse. Most Marxists finishing this idea by saying it's an interaction. Materialism is a dialectical relationship with ideas, but it's back and forth. The material is the more important shaper than the ideal. So the material is more shaper than shaped, and the idea is more shaped than shaper, but they're interactive. Historical materialism simply is taking these ideas and applying them to history. So history is moved by the hard material reality, making enough food to live, carrying out enough production to transform nature so we can live from nature, etc., etc. Material reality, but it shapes religions, ideas, concepts, spiritualities, which in turn impact on our history. So it's a dialectical materialist approach to explaining history. And that's called historical materialism, because if it's taken from this Marxist notion of dialectics, it incorporates the dialectics in itself. These are the basic ideas, and they have a lot to teach us because they are ways of interrogating not only the historical past, but the present. How do the hard economic realities of today shape the way people think? And how do the ways people think react back on to shape the reality we're living through? That would be a dialectical or historical materialist way to examine the present. This is Richard Wolff thanking our Patreon community for their wonderful questions.